Hello and welcome to MacGyver's Grant Public Library Storytime Tuesday. Today we're going to read the book, Lena's Shoes Are Nervous, A First Day of School Dilemma. This book is by Keith Calabrese and Juana Medina, and um, they are both the authors who wrote the words and the illustrators who do the pictures. I'm trying to keep that glare off of that front of that book. I like this book. Have your shoes ever been nervous? Have you ever felt nervous about doing something new and big and exciting? Let's find out what happens to Lena's shoes. I like how all those little lines are around the word nervous. It makes it look like it's shaking. Do you ever feel kind of shaky when you're nervous? Let's see what happens, okay? Today is a big day. Lena starts kindergarten today. Lena is very excited. Look how excited Lena is. Are any of you gonna start kindergarten this year? She has picked out all of her favorite clothes to wear. Her blue dress, her pink striped socks, and her headband with a bright green flower. I like this picture. Everything is in black and white except the things that Lena has picked out to wear for school. Can you find her blue dress? Can you find her yellow shoes? Can you find her pink striped socks and her green headband? I see some things. Let's see if you can pick them out. But there is just one problem. I think you already know it. Lena's shoes are nervous. She looks for her dad. Lena doesn't know. Oh, sorry. Oh dear, her dad says. What should we do? Lena doesn't know. She certainly doesn't want to miss kindergarten, but she can't go without her favorite shoes. This is a serious problem. What would you do if your shoes were nervous? Should we try talking to them, her dad suggests. Lena frowns. We can't do that. Why not? Because they're shoes, Lena says. Oh, Lena's dad says and thinks for a moment. Lena thinks too. I like that picture. I like that they're looking upside down. Where do you think they are? Are they on the bed leaning over looking at the shoes hiding? Are her shoes hiding under the bed? What about your other clothes, her dad asks. How are your socks feeling? Lena shrugs. The same as the shoes, as usual. Lena, how about your dress, her dad asks. My dress is very outgoing. My dress cannot wait for kindergarten. Well, Lena. Maybe your dress can talk to your shoes. And there they are. He's getting her dressed. He put her dress on because her dress is ready to go, isn't it? The pages are sticking together. Lena makes a face. Oh no, they don't get along. It's kind of a touchy subject. Let's look and see why it might be a touchy subject. What do you think her shoes did that made her dress mad? Can you see in the picture, what did her shoes do that made her dress not happy with the shoes? I like that they did that in the background. Lena and her dad scratch their heads and look around their room, and then Lena remembers her headband. Her headband with a bright green flower. Of course, all her clothes like her headband. My headband is friends with everybody, Lena says. She could talk to my shoes. Excellent idea, says her dad. I like how Lena solved the problem. If it solves the problem, let's see if it does. You think the headband will be able to talk to the shoes? Lena places her headband beside her shoes and she gives her dad a look. I'll just go wait in the kitchen, he says. Let's see what happens. The shoes are shy and a little embarrassed. Lena encourages them to use their words. The shoes say that school is big and loud and different and they'd really rather not go. The headband is a good listener and understands. I like how Lena is talking to her shoes about those big scary feelings. Then the headband reminds the shoes of other times they were scared but decided to be brave together. And there's three different times. Can you see three different times that her shoes we're scared that everybody was scared, it says. She's going to the doctor there. 
she's watching a movie there, and I think she's kind of scared. Or maybe it's a scary part in the movie. And look right there. Have you ever been scared of a big animal? That's a pretty big dog. And how things had pretty much worked out okay, even better than okay sometimes, because often the best things happen when we're nervous. Lena is optimistic. Optimistic means you are looking for the good thing to happen. You're waiting for the good. You're expecting the good. So here, after the doctor, looks like she got a good checkup and she got a big lollipop. And then there, at the movie she was nervous about, look, they, had a, they laughed and had a fun time. And look what happened with the big dog. She got a big dog kiss. And that's always a good thing, isn't it? But shoes aren't, her shoes aren't quite convinced yet. And it's almost time to leave. It seems Lena will have to go to kindergarten without her favorite shoes. Oh, well, she says loudly, so the shoes will hear. It looks like I'll have to wear my slippers. Do you think she'll have to wear slippers to school on the first day? <gasps> slippers? She wouldn't. She couldn't. She, her shoes confer urgently. And then they decide. What do you think they decide? Do you think they'll go to school? Do you think they're nervous? To be brave. Lena is very proud of them. Have you ever been brave when you were nervous? Lena and her dad walked to school for the first day of kindergarten. Lena's shoes get a little nervous again when they step onto the playground and they make her walk slower than usual. Do your shoes ever make you walk slowly when they're nervous? I still do that. My shoes, even adult shoes get nervous. Did you know that? but not for long. And look, it looks like Lena has made a lot of new friends with a lot of different kinds of shoes. That is the end of that book. I like that book. Did you like it? I like how Lena talked to her shoes and she used, encouraged them to use their words. And I like how she listened to what they were upset about. And she didn't say, oh, that's silly. You just need to come on and be brave. She, she let them work it out, didn't she? I think that was pretty cool. I think it was neat that they were all brave together and went to school. School might look a little different for you this year. Even if it's not your first day of kindergarten, it's going to be a first day of something different, isn't it? So it may be a little bit different. We might all be a little bit nervous. So I just want you to think about Lena's shoes when you go. I want you to, to think about being brave and working together to get through something when you're just a little bit nervous. Because you know what? Adults get nervous too. And your mom and dad might be a little bit nervous. You might have to talk them through it not even their shoes. What do you think? So our craft today is going to be a pair of shoes and you're going to get to make these shoes any color you want. We're going to read another book just here in one second about what different colors make you happy or sad or how they make you feel so that you can kind of think about that and decide what color you want your shoes to be. And if you want your shoes to be a bunch of different colors, they can be a bunch of different colors. But I just want you to think about how those feelings make you feel what you might feel on the first day of school this year, and even if even if it's angry, if your shoes are angry, you can make them angry, and then you can kind of talk to them about it, can't you, and decide how come your shoes are angry, or nervous, or a little scared, or maybe very excited, or joyful, or looking forward to it. So these will be your shoes, your school shoes for this year. Won't that be cool? All right, the second book we're going to read is called My Blue is Happy, and it's by Jessica Young, and is one of my very favorite books. She is the author, Jessica Young. She wrote the words, and um, it's illustrated by Kat Katia Chen. So she drew the pictures, and isn't that a beautiful picture? I love that picture. And this book is published by Candlewick Press. My Blue is Happy. Let's find out what, what that means. My sister says that blue is sad, like a lonely song, but my blue is happy, like my favorite jeans and a splash in a pool on a hot day. How do colors make you feel? Ooh. Yellow is cheery, says my mom, like the summer sun, but my yellow is worried like a wil wilting flower and a butterfly caught on a net. 
It's a lot of yellow on that page, isn't there? How does yellow make you feel? Does it make you feel happy or worried? The boy next door said, red is angry like a dragon's burning breath. But my red is as brave as a fire truck and my superhero cape. Does red make you feel brave or does it make you feel angry? Pink's my favorite, my best friend says. It's pretty, like a ballerina's tutu. But my pink is annoying, like an itchy bug bite and gum that gets stuck to my shoe. Does pink make you feel happy or is it irritating? Dad says brown is ordinary, like a plain paper bag. But my brown is special, like chocolate syrup. And a piece of earth that's just for me. That has a lot of possibilities, that piece of earth, that brown there, doesn't it? Look, says Grandpa, green is young, like a small stem stretching toward the light. You like green? Do you think it's young? But my green is old as a forest and a statue in the park. I love that picture. Can you see a statue? Is your green young and new or old and wise? My cousin says that orange is fun, like a bouncing basketball. But my orange is serious, like a warning sign and a tiger on the prowl. Is your orange fun or is it serious? I like that picture of that big tiger. Burr, Grandma says, gray is cold like the sky before a storm. But my gray is as cozy as a curled up kitchen and the sound of st soft rain on the roof. Does gray make you feel calm? Or is it a little bit cold? Shh, says my brother, black is scary. Like shadows creeping across the walls. Look at the black shadow. Is, gray, is black scary? But my black is peaceful, like the still surface of a lake and the spaces between the stars. Look at hers. Look at her laying in that boat, looking at all that black, peaceful water and night sky. I guess colors are how you see them. And my blue is happy. Look. Do you like blueberries? My blue is happy. I want you to think about that book while you're making your shoes today, okay? I want you to think about what color you like and how it makes you feel. It doesn't have to be the way somebody else. It's not, there's no wrong answer, is it? It can feel good for me and kind of yucky for you, and you might really like another color that I go, ooh, that one kind of makes me nervous. And I think that's really awesome. So you can make your shoes whatever color you want to. I hope you have a wonderful first day of school. We'll see you next week again on Storytime Tuesday. And we'll talk a little bit because I know school is going to kind of um, go in slowly. We'll talk about school again next week, okay? I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful first day. Bye-bye.